Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on so you don't miss out on the next episode of Brockton County in Ontario theme city. And make sure to hit the like button too. The like button helps the channel a lot. Uh, welcome back to the city of Batherston, the county of Brockton, uh, where we are now on episode 102. Now, as of recording this, I'm recording this on the day that episode 100 released, and uh, I have some uh, some housekeeping notes to kind of mention today. So, first thing is a more positive uh, one, and that is that uh, the base map that we started the series on way back on episode one is now available on the Steam Workshop uh, to download. So, thank you to those who were suggesting that I do that. Uh, and it is now possible to download it and if you're new to the series just remember that there was a lot of little funny things in the map that we did and I just wanted to recap why uh, the map may be a little, a little barren. Um, if you remember, if you're new, well if you're an OG to the channel you, you would remember, uh, but our previous series, uh, Riviera de Montaigne, there was an issue on the map uh, and I couldn't really figure it out at the time, which I do know the, the fix to now, but we're gonna get to this momentarily. Um, but it made me—it made us uh, have to start a new series really quickly uh, in order to you know, kind of maintain our our usual schedule. Uh, so it was a bit rushed. So there's some, a lot of like weird terraforming things. So just just be aware. Just remember if you watch the series that th there were a couple things that we had to fix. Uh, over time as the city expanded, but it's now available. You'll probably find the link in both the description and in a comment section and in one of the comments down below. Uh, and so the second thing is I previously mentioned that we're going to go back to Riviera de Montaigne uh, part time. Well, that won't happen. I'm very disappointed in this, but uh, an issue arose uh, besides the one that kind of caused us to destroy the city and move on. Uh, but uh, the road pack that we were using for that series uh, now doesn't really work. Uh, it's depreciated and it is broken now. So when I loaded up the game, uh, there were basically no roads, especially in the downtown. So I was I've been, I spent a lot of time, a lot of time, trying to realign the roads properly so that the buildings wouldn't disappear. And it does. So. My thinking is, if I were to do this, it would pretty much be a brand new city. Uh, and that's not what I was hoping for. It's not ideal. I'm never not going to cancel this out and say that we're never going to go back to this. But uh, it's not going to happen this week, which is unfortunate. This is kind of what I was really hoping we were going to be able to do. So I guess future plans, uh, we may start the next series, a new series. Uh, sooner rather than later and what's gonna happen is we'll kind of uh, split time between the new series and this series but this week is gonna be all Brockton County I think this week I'm gonna look for the map we really picky it's not gonna be a map I made it's gonna be a map from the workshop or from the vanilla game I haven't decided yet um, I'm kind of leaning towards the vanilla game we're gonna kind of have like a vanilla plus so we're not gonna have any assets but I'm just gonna have a couple mods um, but I haven't decided I don't know we'll see let me know what you think. It's going to be a, uh, a, a series set on the prairies uh, along a river. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. And uh, yeah, so let's hop out of it and let's check out what we did. Oh, last episode. Last episode, we kind of had a chill build uh, and we detailed this park. We expanded Strathcona. Strathcona is looking a lot more full now. There's still some, uh, some zoning missing, but uh, yeah, I really like how Strathcona has turned out. We're going to come back to Strathcona eventually, especially when we detail more out over this way. And then um, over here as well. So uh, that's the, the plan, but uh, the main town is done. It's not going to get much bigger than this. There's going to be some residential expansion over here. Um, and uh, But yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to hop along the 401 and we're going to zoom across the city. Let's actually just go into this view. Uh, because in the next two episodes, at least, because I, I don't really know how long it's going to take me, but we are going to zip along the 401 and we're going to go all the way over to our airport. We're going to get off on the highway here and go through all this these craziness, all this craziness, all these empty uh, inner city buses, and uh, we're going to hop out to the airport. So we're at the airport, and this is where we're going to spend most of uh, the next two episodes, at least, if not all. 
Uh, finishing up the airport. So kind of what I have planned is we're going to look at, well, these are the stages. We're going to uh, add in some hotels and stuff over here. Uh, we're going to continue building a more industrial vibe over here. And we're going to have some factories that are over this way. I, I don't think I'll consider that part of the airport in quotation marks. And then we have over here. So one, two, and three. So I think we're going to really focus on one um, and two over the next few episodes. And we might just leave three for a little while. Uh, and then we might do this part as we add in factories. But, um, the, you know, the roads are also going to be something that we're going to be looking at doing over time. But it's been six minutes-ish. Uh, and I haven't built anything. So let's, uh, let's dive into it. Uh, let's actually back up over here. And there's a small fix I want to do over this way, um, which I think is going to be quite beneficial to the way traffic flows through, through throughout here. Um, but I'm just going to move the monorail station. Uh, I'm going to move the monorail station to over here, right in this section. So if you look at all these buses, they come out right here and then they go over this way. So I'm thinking if I move the station right to this end, it'd be good. It'd also be a bit closer. And then I'm going to push this. I'm going to put a monorail station over here. Uh, so it's more for like the parking lot, even though it won't really fill up. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the plan. So I'm going to pause the game. We are going to uh, delete that road. Delete that one, I guess. And uh, delete those. And we're going to just tweak the monorail a little bit. And then we're going to move uh, on to the next one. So let's... Oh, wrong one. I think it's this one. Yeah, so um, I'm just going to try to line up the node where I need it. So that's right here. And then we're going to relink that up. And I'm just going to use move it. Whoa. And we're just going to try and realign it. It's not extremely important that it's all straight. But uh, I think that's good. Alrighty. So uh, that means that this is going to have to move. So let's move all the way back over to our roads. And we're just going to bring this one down and connect up. And then we're going to delete that. And we're going to fill this in with concrete. So now the whole bus area looks even bigger than it is. Or it was previously. Okay, so we're going to hop back over. We're going to grab our monorail. And we're going to delete it back to where it's straight again. And then we're going to go into the perfect curve mode. <laughs> and uh, connect up. Rock and roll. So we got that in place. Um, we are then going to grab our stop. We're going to move it over here. I'm then going to delete this. We're going to see a bunch of floating people. <laughs> we're going to connect that up. Uh, then we're going to upgrade this a little bit. And then we are going to try and see if this works. So we're going to turn anarchy on. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm really happy that actually worked. Alrighty, and then we're going to take our non, uh, our station that doesn't fit onto roads, and we are going to then grab the monorail again, put it on the perfect curve. Fantastic. Okay, so now we kind of split up the, the stops, uh, and then we're going to hop back over here. Alrighty, so uh, I did mention in the comments to JMWZ that uh, I'd never really... Oh, did we actually add those in? Oh, I should have added them in. Okay, well, that's weird. We'll see if it actually stops or not. Uh, but anyway, so I never really talked about the express buses. I'm kind of just testing them out a little bit. Um, seeing how it will operate with the inner city buses and everything like that. I'm not the biggest fan of how it turned out. Um, and I think I'm going to change up how the express bus system works anyways. So that's why I never really mentioned it. Um, I think we're going to, these are kind of just placeholders is pretty much what I'm trying to say. Well, let's see if this stops here. Oh, perfect. It does. Uh, for when we get small towns, like, like, uh, I'm talking about like not, well, this maybe. But like this kind of size town, like maybe we'll get a town right over here or something like that. We might not, but you know, theoretically, maybe we'll get a town uh, over here. We probably will get a town over here. 
Uh, but uh, the express buses will go right from that town all the way over here. So they're just kind of placeholders. Uh, for now, I was just trying to get more people to to the airport. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, there's lots of backup and everything like that, which is something that I'm going to be looking at uh, fixing over the next coming episodes, but we're not going to kind of dedicate any time to that. It's going to be kind of as is. So let's just make sure that there's four vehicles again. Okay. And we're good. And that should be fine now. So I know there was a suggestion to do this, and uh, I think it all worked out anyways. So now we've kind of created a sep different separation, and I'm so glad this works. Holy cow, it looks so perfect. It looks like it was actually like made for it now. Um, all right. So uh, next thing we are going to do is we are going to add a slip lane. Look at all these people walking. Holy cow. Uh, for buses to come from the roundabout, which is not going to stay again. The infrastructure over here is very temporary. Uh, so buses right now are coming through here and then they have to stop at this intersection and go all the way over. So we're going to try and make them avoid that. So we're going to make them uh, come through here and then they're going to do a loop. So again, this might not stay. This road was just temporary as well. Uh, so I'm thinking we'll have to look at uh, doing that right now. So um, let's just upgrade the entire roadway to four lanes. I thought that was three lanes. Uh, that is okay with me. So it goes four, three into two, so it's uh, a bit much, but that's okay uh, because we were, we were just about to change things up anyways. Um, all right, so right about here. Is that enough space? Let's go from here. Uh, yeah, we'll just stick it out like that. And then we'll get a nice little curve here. And then we're just going to kind of come over this way. I don't think I'm actually going to connect it right now, but um, I think we need to move this back and we need to move this one as well. Uh, let's just pause the game because I'm messing everything up. I'll make this a middle node and uh, we also need to use move it again and we just need to readjust uh, some things here because this is wild. There we go. It's a bit cleaner for the, the game mechanics, at least. Alrighty, and then we'll go back down to three. So we kind of have like a back-to-back -back, uh, slip lane, which is okay. This one's primarily for buses, but uh, perhaps, yeah, I mean, any car coming from this direction, we'll just take this route into the, the area. But uh, we're not gonna connect it up yet uh, because we are actually going to delete this road. All right, so we kind of have a marker of where the road used to be, and that's uh, that's good. But um, the reason why we did that is because we are going to redraw in a bunch of the grid systems through, throughout this area. Whoa. Uh, I think what we're gonna do, hmm. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Let's let's grab our bigger road here. And we're just going to draw a straight road out for now. Uh, it's just temporary, really. And uh, let's think about this. So this is just one lane. I think that's probably fine. That's all we really need over here. Uh, and then we will go to ground level here, Steven. Ground level. I'll click home. And we're just going to connect up like so. But uh, we're definitely going to add in uh, this. Back it up a little bit so buses will be able to line themselves up. So it's not a perfect uh, grid, but it is a perfect grid off of this train station, which is going to be what I'm going to be modeling uh, any future grid off of. Um, all right, so we got that. And now I think that we may actually have to move this over a bit. Alrighty, so let's just grab that and reform uh, let's actually do the 
curve. So I'll take it through right here. And let's try to get it to line up a bit better. Uh, let's just do this really quickly and we'll flip it around. Oh, wrong one. There we go. And then I'm just going to line this up like that. And then we'll flip this around. Okay, then I'm just going to use move it really quickly. I guess I could have used the network multi tool for that. And I think we need to make this a bit. Uh, ooh, I don't know about this. Yeah, I guess the network multi tool probably would have been a better option. Okay. Uh, well, that kind of works. So let's let's see. So a bus would be coming right through here. It would be turning around. Yeah, it's kind of like a bit of a back door in. Um, and then let's just end it off with uh, one of these. So that uh, cars can line up to turn left or right, if they so choose. And uh, we're also going to grab this road again. And we're just going to extend that this way. So we might just upgrade that to a four uh, laner, but I think that'll probably be fine for now. We might as well just back this up as well. And I guess we need to switch this node over to a middle node. Yeah, that way, so as soon as they come off the bridge, they can figure out which way they need to go. And uh, all right, so we're just gonna go into the traffic manager here. And holy cow, time's running out. Uh, we're just gonna set this to 100. And then we're gonna set this just a little bit to 60. Um, and then we'll, we'll set this whole thing to 60 as well. Does not go over. Thought it would have. Uh, this needs to go to 100. I'm realizing. Yeah. Otherwise, we're we're good, right? Yeah, we're good. Uh, but this will also go over to 60. All right. So now they have a bit more of like a. <laughs> we just improved the the random infrastructure through here, but uh, like I said, the infrastructure is going to be kind of developed over time. I was thinking about making a dedicated video for it, but. Uh, I kind of want—I kind of want to just do it ad hoc a little bit. So again, this is a bit more of the services kind of uh, area. So it's a little dirty for now, but uh, this will clean up its, clean itself up as we redo our garbage systems, which is coming in a future video. Um, but uh, I think I want to get uh, some fire and police up this way. So we don't really have any fire or police uh, through here, but um, perhaps instead we get them out over this way. Yeah, maybe we do that. Uh, perhaps what we'll do is, I mean, they're not, they're kind of close to the highway. I think this will work. Um, I think we'll just get an asymmetrical road through here. And uh, then we'll just get a basic road. How about we go with uh, an industry road? And we'll just stick this straight out like that. And we'll get some more services uh, out over this way. This doesn't need to be that close. And it can also be at that height. And then uh, this can also be at that height. Alrighty, so we got some more services out over here. We might not leave the garbage out this way. Uh, but I wanted to get the fire department. And we'll get a big one. An old timey one. I don't know. I just really don't like this one. Uh, I think we'll probably be fine if we uh, leave this one over here and then we'll get uh, a police station. Yeah, I don't like that one either. But this one doesn't really need the helicopter pad. So perhaps we'll just have a smaller precinct out over here. Uh, any other services? Well, there's the disasters DLC stuff. If we can get like this out this way, which could be pretty cool. Um, but... Uh, I don't know if we really need it. Uh, I mean, it is a nice building. It kind of fits through here, too. Hmm. Is it just going to be weird, though? I don't know. 
we could also place it like right here. Because it does kind of need like its its own like it's it's a very grand building is what I'm trying to say. Hmm. Maybe we'll get this in another build. Sorry about this. I'm just kind of uh, thinking about what else, what other services can go out this way. Because maybe we do move the garbage. Maybe we at least uh, split it so that we kind of have like a little powerhouse over here with the incinerator, the recycling plant, and then we'll just move one of them over this way. Uh, because in reality, this doesn't really need to be that long then. And then we can just kind of scooch this back. This could be just for the fire uh, houses or the, the fire houses. <laughs> Fire trucks, oh my god. <laughs> That's the word. Alrighty, so it looks like the water pipes are a bit differently lined. Uh, that's okay. We can just remove them. Whoa. Oh, that's our main connection, isn't it? That it is our main connection. Okay, we'll just have to deal with that one. Uh, that's fine. Okay, so uh, we got that in place. Now we're just going to move this one uh, right over here. And uh, we'll kind of call it a day on this little services section. There we go. Kind of adds a bit more value to the area uh, as well. Alright, so uh, now that all the buses are going to start figuring out what's been going on, uh, well, we don't really need this, do we? All right, so now that we've got that in place, let's figure out how we're going to maintain a bit of a, of a grid through here. Um, and we're gonna figure out how traffic will, will work in this little section as well, because uh, we got two terminals through, throughout this area. That's pretty unique. Okay, well, I'm kind of thinking about this at the same time. So I think what we'll do is we'll just take move it and we'll get a bit of a smoother connection through here. So we'll just take the nodes and I think we're good now. Yeah, so pretty much if you're driving in, you uh, stay in the middle lanes here or just the middle lane. I think maybe what we can do is we can uh, use some of this and what we'll do actually is we'll just say you can go straight on both sides here. Yeah, then stay in here, and then you hop into these lanes, you stay in these two lanes, or you get into the left lane if you're looking to get into the domestic, uh, go to the domestic terminal. So um, there must be like a sign right here that says like domestic, international, and then the international ones, you drive over this way. I think we're pretty good over here. There's obviously some more detailing that needs to be done, um, but I think we'll focus in this section right now. So. We're gonna try to filter all traffic coming into the airport this way. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think we're gonna need a checkpoint, aren't we? No, I guess it's really only for parking. I'm trying to remember the last time I went to the airport. There's no like, toll, but, well, like security gate that your car drives under. No, I think we're good. Okay, so we're gonna leave this parking lot here. It's a bit more out of the way. Um, but this would probably be like our parking, maybe. Um, and then we have our long-term parking out over here. Perhaps we need a parking garage out this way, too. Hmm. Holy cow, there's so many things to do. Uh, but uh, let's just grab our basic roads and let's get a bit of a, a system through here. So this is a one-way system, a one-way loop. Um, so what we'll do is we'll have that there and then we'll have another connection point. I guess if you're leaving in this area, you can just go through there. Uh, we won't have anything through here, but uh, we will have a road coming out to there and connecting back up like so. And then we'll have another road right through here like that. Okay, uh, so that gives us some space over here for something or a park, but uh, we definitely need couple airport hotels and we're gonna look into our little assets uh, that we have through here because there are, are some assets that I've, I see people use for this type of build uh, like the luxury hotel but like that's pretty massive uh, I think the the basic vanilla ones kind of work onto itself like it works well enough 
Uh, the grand oh the grand mall is a pretty cool little asset you can add into here because it doesn't really look like a mall <laughs> at all it doesn't look like a mall at all uh but um i think we might be able to fit this in pretty nicely right here it's a pretty cool looking uh building if i'm not gonna lie all right yeah i mean that's pretty cool hmm maybe we can just remove that we can throw this right in here how much does it cost per week uh, it's pretty steep but uh, yeah, I mean, it kind of looks like a hotel, doesn't it? Plus, if we're building um, taller buildings out this way, this can be like the tallest. It kind of gives it like a bit of space too. Now I've seen people throw a monorail through here before. That's a pretty cool idea, but I don't think we're gonna uh, take that on uh, at all. But um, okay, so we got that there. Perhaps we can just roll with some more parking for here. I will go with this one. Uh, oh, you know what we should do is we should just get um, a road like that. And then we'll grab this parking garage. We'll throw it right in here. So again, these are like uh, hour long parking. Or like, you know, if you're dropping your friend off and, and you need to wait kind of thing. Uh, I think we need a zoo fence through here. Uh, where are they? Okay, we're gonna turn all our guidelines off for this and also snapping. Okay, then we're gonna go back. Okay, so now no one can walk right on. <laughs> and I think we'll probably need that uh, over here as well, but I'm I wouldn't be surprised that there would, there would be like a security gate right here because this is pretty open um, but perhaps like say you're coming um, say like you're a, a rich person and you have your private plane parked right through here I wouldn't be surprised if there is a security gate here but this looks a bit too big um, so perhaps what we can do is just hmm I don't really like that, but it doesn't look like it's gonna really work. Perhaps we can get that over on this side instead. Uh, put this right through here, maybe. And then a loop around right into here. So that means we can just block this whole section off with the zoo fence. And then maybe we need to get that uh, also right through here. <laughs> yeah, these trees are a little, a little funky, but I mean, this could also, this could work thematically. <laughs> be really funny if you did, if you were coming to the airport and you had no idea what, what to do, and you're like, oh, I turn here, and then you're going to the security start checkpoints. Yeah, I don't think that'll work. So I guess this will be like the, the private entrance for, uh, e, I don't know, this seems like a... I don't know, I'm second guessing myself on this one, not gonna lie. But uh, why don't we just kind of roll with it because that's what we've been doing. And uh, what we'll do is we'll have that one left and straight because no one should really go through this anyways. Um, okay, and this is just for the Lux, right? This doesn't, this won't actually do anything. So we'll turn guidelines back on. Um, and we'll come right off like that and in like so and then we'll just kind of swoop this around and that works then we'll do something similar uh over here so we'll get our guidelines back on because i want to make sure this road has a straight connection um and then we'll just do uh, curve and then another curve okay and then we'll just kind of straighten it all out with move it all right fantastic okay so that'll be like the private oh the private gate security uh, and let's get some concrete throughout here I guess uh, 
I need to get that zoo fence actually again. Okay, so let's turn our guidelines off. And then we need to turn snapping off again. And then go back and grab our zoo fence. So we'll take it right to about, whoa. Take it to like there, and then we'll kind of redraw it again uh, alongside here. Something like that. And then we can fill this in with more concrete later. And then what we'll do is, I know there's already a fence, but perhaps we need like double layer security. A second security fence, you know. Okay, so we'll take that to about here, and uh, then we'll just kind of go right over it there and then there. Yeah, that way perhaps we can have some air pork and store stuff over here or something like that. But now it's a bit more secure. I don't know if this is the the. the the best airport in the world for security purposes, but that's okay. Um, all right, so why don't we try and get a couple more uh, parking lots throughout here. And we'll get another one right adjacent to it. Uh, actually, let's, uh, let's do something else. Let's go with the basic, was it this one? Yeah, it is. Uh, we'll get a nice little connection right through here. I'm curious to see how this connects up. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alrighty, and then we'll just kind of roll with maybe, say, some uh, electric vehicle parking. A lot of electric vehicle parking. And then we'll come back with, uh, let's unlock that. And then we'll just kind of end this off right there. And I don't think anyone's gonna use this one, but there we go. Alrighty, and uh, I think we'll leave that as grass. And then what we'll do is we'll just get some nice big trees throughout here. Okay, this one can be smaller. And then perhaps if we can fit it, we can fit some smaller shrubs throughout here. Okay, we might be kind of getting to the end of the size there, so that's fine. All right, so we've kind of added a lot to this little area so far. Um, and then I'm thinking we get some hotels throughout this way. So let's uh, put this whole district as the airport. So I'm thinking what we do is we remove it and we create our quadrants now. So this might take a bit of time. I hear my neighbor's dog bark in the background as well. <laughs> but this is gonna be important for the look of the airport. Perhaps, uh, perhaps we might need to spend three episodes on here. Um, and I do have a great name uh, for the airport, but I think we'll save that for next episode because it's a bit late in the, the game to create a funny airport name. Alrighty, so we'll have the main airport through here. I don't think it really matters out by the runways, really. Okay. And then we'll have our second airport. Our cargo airport through it here. I, uh, I won't spend the time naming them today, but I will right off camera. Uh, and then we'll have the supporting the bus uh, terminal. And I think we'll just make the bus terminal out over here too. Alrighty, and then we'll take the main airport out over here. For now, we might need, we might change that up a little bit, but I'm assuming that this would be a flight path. So, um, all right, so we got the main airport. So this will be just the airport, cargo airport, uh, airport transit hub. I don't know. Something like that. Um, Alright, so this is a one-way so that it forces people around. 
uh, but uh, looks like there'll probably be a lot of walking paths. So say like you get to the airport early and or maybe your flight's delayed, you need to, you know, go to the airport or uh, airport hotel. So you'd hop out of here and then you'd hop into the hotel because we're kind of saying that this is a hotel. But uh, now that we're in the districts, let's uh, make this tourism specialization. And then we're also going to make it um, uh, self-sufficient buildings because we might throw in a condo through here just for the luck. Nothing else, just for the luck because they look really cool. So let's, uh, let's go through here with our zoning tool. So let's click on the roads. Or if I just click Z, I think I have a hotkeyed. All right, so we'll take zoning off of these. This way we can get a nice clean hotel throughout throughout this area, little this little area right here. Uh, and let's also grab uh, one more road like this. And right here, we're going to get uh, a road to connect like that. And I guess what we need to do really quickly is switch this one over. And I guess these can be like that. Oops, I deleted one. That's okay. I think we're fine that way now. Okay. Kind of makes sense. Kind of doesn't. That's okay. So let's hotkey that, remove the zoning from there. Um, I think I want to remove the zoning. No, I guess I guess we can figure this out. Um, all right, so let's get the, the game playing. Holy cow, my tongue is all twisted apparently. And so is my mind. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get a hotel right in there and we'll get another one right here. I think I'm gonna be a bit picky with it. Um, and then let's get a nice cool condo right here because I love the look of the buildings. Uh, that's the only reason. Uh, and then we'll get a smaller one right here and here. So I'm going to pause the game. We're going to go into here. We're going to look at the zoning. We're going to go to tourism right here. And we're going to click type in hotel. And then we're going to find some cool hotels uh, that'll work. So that's a four by three beach hotel, four by three tourist hotel. I think this one might work great for right here. So we'll let that one pop up. Uh, two by two hotel. There we go. Four by four. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm just kind of going through here and and looking. Oh, three by two hotel. Will that one work? Maybe this is the the cheaper hotel. One by one. No, that's not going to work. Three by two. Okay, we'll see what we'll see what comes up for the rest of them. Uh, and then we're going to go into where is it self-sufficient i guess it's right here but yeah this is them let's find the big one i think if i just type in 4x it should pop up oh, okay here we go we're getting them all right yeah these are some pretty cool hotels so you, maybe you can sit on this little patio right here and you can watch the airplanes that's that's awesome so we're gonna make sure that these ones are historical. Uh, I like this boring one as well. Um, this one right here. Because maybe it's like the, the cheaper one. All right, these pipes are all off. Uh, that's okay. That's okay with me. If it's okay with you guys, it's okay with me. Alrighty. So uh, I think we'll just leave uh, these to come in. We're on three speed, so hopefully that'll be good. Uh, and then we're going to um, come through here with uh, the paving tool. Holy cow. It's way too big. I'm going to pave all this in. Yeah, it's a cool uh, looking uh, building here. And it looks like a hotel too, right? So. Alrighty. So I don't think we need this road to go all the way over there. So I'm just gonna do that. Hopefully the zoning didn't mess up. Oh my God, it didn't. Okay, that's fantastic. 
Uh, we don't need that there. Nothing's popped up over here yet, that's fine. Uh, nothing there either, that's good. Alrighty, so let's go into our paths here. And what we'll do is we'll just take our basic path and we're just gonna we're just gonna make a couple uh, connections through here. And what this is going to do is it's going to kind of, um, as long as people use them, it's going to make them seem like people are actually like walking through it as well. So like again, like right through here might be a, like a little path. They, they, they're hidden, right? So it kind of works. Oh, look at that. We're getting some more hotels throughout here. Yeah, and then these, this is going to be the, as tall as they're going to get. I think we might get some more over here. Um, I was thinking maybe even like the stadium could fit out this way, but uh, we might not do that. And we're running out of time, so uh, let's check throughout here for some other cool uh, parks. Oh, I was thinking about the helicopter park, could be really cool um, as you're driving in. Yeah, let's put it over here. We need some things out this way. Oh, never mind. There's a tree in the way. Can this fit? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I might, we might move this one. But I'm looking for something to fill in this area here because I don't, we might be able to get another hotel through here. Uh, but let's look at these. So these are the same buildings. I'll, I like this one. We'll keep that one. I think we'll destroy this one and we'll see if we get another one. That pops up. Um, okay, well, let's just keep looking through the unique buildings here really quickly. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Uh, the Aviation Club. Um, I don't know if anyone mentioned, mentioned that. Like, why isn't the Aviation Club in here? Uh, this is going to go into a rural build. Ooh, this one's a cool building, but I don't think it's going to fit. <laughs> uh, the stadium, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we could also get the... These buildings are really nice to get out this way. Uh, the resort I'm saving for another build. Uh, those are too tall. This one could be cool. Oh, it actually fits, eh? Wow. Well, I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if this is the right style of building that I'm looking for, but it could be like a mall kind of thing. But maybe we're kind of running... putting too many buildings out this way already. I don't know, we also got these buildings. These ones are pretty cool. Oh, that's a pretty cool looking building. But uh, maybe they're like board meeting offices. How much does this cost per week? And then how much did this one cost? Oh, about the same, okay. You know what, this one might be pretty cool. So I'm gonna place that down and then we're going to just use move it to Rotate it in place. So I think it was this way. Um, okay, it is too big, it seems. It seems like there's a lot more detailing on it than I saw originally, so uh, we'll delete it. Never mind. Um, yeah, okay, I guess uh, I guess there's nothing really else. So if you have any uh, assets that you'd like me to throw in here, let me know. Uh, yeah, I don't think anything over here that I'm just kind of screaming out at me. Uh, we could get another taxi stand out this way though. That could be useful. Um, Alright, so this one regrew. So it looks like we're kind of running out of assets for that. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just take that one out and we'll throw in a, a condo through here and maybe that'll give us another kind of uh, a different look uh, to the airport or uh, to the area because um, I mean, like, that that kind of looks like a hotel, right? Let's make sure it doesn't change. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think it does. Alrighty, so uh, let's just maybe plan a bit more of the grid throughout this uh, area. And uh, then we'll kind of call it uh, an episode. Alrighty, so... Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll get this to go straight out of here. Actually, let's get this one to come straight out to about here. Does that go clean? 
wasn't clean. We need to redo it. Okay, I don't think that one's actually gonna come out clean, so never mind. Alrighty, and then from here, what, what we'll do is uh, we'll get a curved road connection, just like that. And I don't think this is going to go back that far. Alrighty, and I mean, at this point, we might as well just not make them make this one a one way, but uh, that's okay. Alrighty, so how about we get uh, a couple roads to connect straight through here, like that, and then like that. And we'll bring this down a little bit temporarily because I'm not exactly sure what else we're going to do out over here. But uh, let's go from about here. But uh, whatever we do, I'm going to be pretty stoked for it because I love uh, this kind of stuff. There we go. It's a bit more symmetrical. Uh, it's actually not symmetrical. Is it slightly off that's okay um, all right well uh, now that this has come in I don't really like like that one so I'll let that one grow up but um, yeah I think uh, I think we'll leave it at that folks we'll kind of leave this for tomorrow or we'll do some other stuff so what do we do today well uh, we did this um, we repositioned the metro or the monorail holy cow uh, but uh, I guess kind of what I'm looking at doing here is I'll just talk to like I'll just talk it out so you, you'll know for tomorrow's episode um, we are gonna have a metro stop to connect in here and I think it's gonna be this line uh, this is gonna be kind of the Metro Express line to Union but it might just be the full line altogether because uh, it might just make more sense to do that uh, and then we'll have another line go from over here, connect into this one, just because it's there. No reason at all otherwise. And then we might have it run uh, into the city as an express. But this one might be a bit of a milk run, but we're going to get a stop uh, in here as well. Maybe over here. I don't know. We're kind of doubling up at that point. But we might just get this to be an express. But it's going to have one stop in here, and then it's going to connect in. So that's for tomorrow. That's why I'm kind of thinking it might be two or three, but you'll probably know uh, because I'm probably going to have like a part one and part two kind of situation. So I uh, hope you like this build today, folks. Oh, this building is really dominant. Um, and I will talk to you soon. Let's try to find a good little angle here for the thumbnail. Alrighty. Have a great day and peace out.